So, what does it mean to tell a good story? What aspects of stories make them good? Is it naming off the characters in the story? Is it giving them interesting things to do? Or is it just telling an interesting ending? Having all the story come together with one final great achievement. I think the best place to start when telling a story is to establish the characters. What kind of story am I going to tell? Do I want to be specific about the main character, a supporting character, things that happen, maybe the bad guy too? Well, let's try with Jack and the Beanstalk. I know that every good story starts with introducing the main character. Jack and his mom lived alone in a cottage with their cow. One day, when they ran out of food, Jack had to sell the cow for, for money. But instead, he found a beggar with magic beans to sell. Overnight, after Jack had planted the beans, he found a great big beanstalk in his backyard. He had nothing to do but climb it. When he was atop the beanstalk, he found a castle with a big giant who was scary enough that Jack had to hide from him. After the giant had fallen asleep, Jack was able to try and steal all the many goods he found in the giant's great big castle. He stole a chicken that laid golden eggs. He stole a harp that sang beautiful music. And he also stole many bags of gold. These things would help him and his mother live happily for the rest of their lives. The giant awoke and realized what Jack had done. He rushed after Jack and tried to climb down the beanstalk to catch him. When Jack realized the giant was close behind him, he rushed down the beanstalk. He grabbed the first axe he could get his hands on and gave the beanstalk one great big chop. The beanstalk and the giant came tumbling down. And of course, Jack and his mother and their cow lived happily ever after. So, let's talk this process through. At the beginning of every story, you have to introduce the characters. Who is going to be in my story? Next, you must decide what's going to happen in my story. So the beginning can be, who are my characters? And the middle can be, what's going to happen? Is there a problem? How is the problem going to be solved? And finally, how will the main character be triumphant at the end? How will the bad guy be defeated? Will the story end with a happy ending? Or will it end with a sad one? You get to decide. It's your story. So, now that we know what a good story has, let's make our own. Think of three great pictures that could resemble your beginning, your middle, and your end. On the first picture, the first page, what characters do you want to introduce? Do you want to have a main character? Maybe a group of main characters. What supporting characters are helping the main characters be the best they can be? Like in Jack and the Beanstalk, he had his mother and the cow to drive the story at the beginning. Once you have three pictures picked out, you can start your story. But how is your story going to play out? After you've introduced your main characters, what will they do? How will you describe the things they do so that the reader can understand what's happening in the story? Jack receives the beans after trying to sell his cow. He climbs the beanstalk and starts on his adventure. What will your story's adventure be? And how will you tell it? Who will be the bad guy? Who will be the supporting characters to your main character? What will be the things your main character will do that will make your story great? Finally, with the teacher's help, take your three pictures 
and put them on the computer. Tell your story frame by frame with your three pictures of your beginning, your middle, and your end. How will your first picture describe the characters and what's going to happen in the story? How will your second picture tell about the happenings of your story? What's the problem? How is the problem being solved? And finally, in the third picture, how is your main character going to come out on top? How will we know that he has been triumphant over the bad guy? Will your story be a happy one, or will it be a sad one? You get to decide. Let's have fun.